Hey guys, what is going on? It's Lightning Fox HD, and we are here checking out Dragon's Crown. I've just bought this game today. I felt like playing this, so I went and got it. Uh, this is going to be a checking out video, see what it's like at the start. If enough people like it and want to see a series out of it, then I certainly will make a series. But for now, I'm not particularly planning on making a series. Right, let's get to it. Options, always check the options. Stereo sound. Yep, screen size. Okay, <laughs> let's stick with A. Data install. That might be something that I'll do in the future. Um, but yeah, for now, let's just start the game. Data 1. You must select a character with select player to go on an adventure. <laughs> Let's pick Frodo. Create a new character. Select the character to create with the left. Stick. I'm ready for this. Whoa, Siegfried. The fighter. Let's go. The sorceress. It's time. The wizard. One more drink. The dwarf. Okay. The elf recommended for expert players. All right. And the Amazon. All right. Recommended for all players. Indeed. <laughs> hmm. and... Gotta finish my drink. I'm all ready. You know, in all honesty, I want to play as the elf, but I'm not an expert, so <laughs> I'm not sure whether I should. Let's do this. Uh, my turn. Get ready. Sod it. Let's just jump in. Lizzie, no, I don't believe that is your name. I believe your name is Um Your name is I don't know. Her name is Nine. Let's <laughs> pick a colour. Snow Aqua. Maple Scarlet. Sunny Forest. These sound like desserts. Let's go with Snow Aqua. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the Japanese. Okay, so we are level one. Got a short bow, a leather mantle, hail portion. And... Right, okay, that that was you it. We just have to press X. And called for a stein of the finest mead. Your partner, Rani, is in a particularly good mood. Rani's in a good mood. Coughing the bar's spirits buoyed your spirits. When things are lively, Rani will recount a certain tale. You were an adventurer, just starting out, and didn't know right from left. It was then that you first met. Very good. Beginning basic tutorial. Basic movement. Move with the left stick, jump with X, dash, hold on square while moving. Evade with the right R1. Normal attacks use combinations of square and the left stick to unleash many different types of attacks. Whoa, hello. And the first thing that you notice is that this game looks amazing. There we go. Did all of the moves and I didn't even look at that list. Aerial attacks like ground attacks, you can use square and the left stick to create many different attack combinations. In the air. Very nice, I like that. That was cool. Press circle to fire an arrow. Hold circle to let loose with a more powerful shot. And press the left stick down to cancel your shot. Oh, that's <laughs> Boom! There are limits to the amount of arrows the elf can carry. Ugh. Replenish your arrow stock by defeating enemies or finding them in treasure chests. Damn you, get kicked. Special equipment such as crossbows can be taken from enemies or treasure caches. Press triangle to pick it up and press square to use it while it has uses remaining. Very well. Ah, look, you have one. Give me your crossbow. <laughs> nice. Items in your item slots can be selected with left and right and used with down. Select a hail portion. Oh, what's that? The durability's gone down on me, bow. It's 
worse than bloody Dark Souls. When you use an item, there will be a cooldown period before you can use the item again. If you use an equipment item in your inventory, it will replace your current equipment. Alright, I get it. Move to the next stage. Food will sometimes appear when you defeat enemies or destroy containers. An apple, yes! Once you have obtained food, you will begin eating it automatically. Once you stop moving and attacking, eating food will restore up to 150% of your max health. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man, we enjoyed that apple, and now we've got 330 of 300 health. Very cool. Shall I open that door for you? The rogue Rani inquired, after appearing from out of nowhere. He thought that it would be a simple matter to take advantage of your naivete and pocket some coin. Naivete. The door is locked, but you can order Rani the Rogue to open it for you. Move finger cursor to the door. <laughs> to open the door, press L1. Go and open the door, you rogue. And also, get clicked. Level 1 humanoid. <laughs> I know that's uh, like truth, but what's this? I guess this is just a kickback from it being on the Vita, but uh, it's pretty weird. Ooh, treasure chest. You can ask Rennie the Rogue to open treasure chest for you, because we were incapable of doing it ourselves. Open that chest. Done. Nice one, Runny the Rogue. Whoa, who's this guy? Yeah, man, get juggled in the air. <laughs> that was amazing. We got like a five hit combo. Oh, you can direct it as well. Nice. Very nice, that was a cool combo right there. This ends the basic tutorial. Nice one. Since Seems that straightforward. Point, you've been journeying under mutually beneficial terms. You handle combat, and Rani handles locks. Very good. You can select leave talent ta tavern to go into town. Stupid, sometimes I just can't read. Are these the same options? Ah, uh, no, they're slightly different. Wouldn't you want to display the HP gauge? Damage value, display all. Cursor speed, let's turn it up by one. Report adventures. Oh, that's to save the game. Nice. Let's get a save. Got a hundred gold. Yes. Right. Leave the tavern. Or the talon, as we called it earlier. Which is Smallville, I think. Vanilla Ware. You came to Hydland as an adventurer. Like many of your fellows, you strove to challenge the dangerous labyrinths here. The labyrinths were every bit as perilous as you'd heard. Most were lucky to even have their bones exit the ruins. You don't currently belong to the guild. I recommend registering. You can get jobs there and learn skills. You can now go to the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Um, go to the Adventurer's Guild. I will do that. Them uh, dead or alive five style breast physics. Yes, there we go. That's how we go in. We we just go up there. Clad in full armor, the guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue. Samuel Joseph is that really the best name that could come up with for this dude? He should be called like. The lion eater. <laughs> he appraises you with a look 
and dismissively states that only worthless adventurers leave their equipment in disrepair. Your travels thus far have left your equipment positively thrashed. You resolve to rectify that before returning. Positively thrashed. The Guildmaster directs you to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. The magician is even able to repair magical equipment. Very good. You can now go to Morgan's Magic Item Shop. To be deemed worthy by the Adventurer's Guild, you must first repair your broken equipment. Okay. Ooh, you can evade in the air. That's cool. I want to click you. Let me click you. <laughs> ah, we're here. <laughs> You conquer a labyrinthine set of stairs, and Morgan Lisley, shopkeeper and witch, welcomes you to her establishment. There is no object's repair which does not fall under her purview, from ornate magic staves to rusted axes. This narrator's got a sound of Stephen Fry about him, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Okay, let's be sarcastic about it. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Which one do you want? Ah, uh, look at that. We have exactly 100 gold, and it costs exactly 100 gold to repair the short war. How typical. Bankrupt. Adventurers come here not only for repairs, but for appraisals and to purchase magic items. You will visit Morgan often. Hmm. I feel like going against that command. <laughs> the start menu is now available. Wow, you had to unlock the start menu. You can open it with start by clicking the player. Click ing the player. <laughs> Your equipment is now unmarred. You should return to the guild and see if the guildmaster deems you worthy. Okay, let's have a look at the start menu first. In this, ah, I've just punched the desk. In the start menu, you can change the equipment to use on your adventure or check the armory, which holds all the items you obtained. Dude, the art on this is just amazing. That watercolor look. Love it, man. Equipment. Bag one. Um, I don't think we've got anything at all. Armory. Again, I don't think we've got anything at all. Stats. You need 850 experience points to level up. Fair enough. Right, so we're going back to the Adventurous Guild. Which we can do by dashing. Click you. I want to click you. <laughs> Once again, the Guildmaster Samuel Joseph stands in the center of the guild hall like a statue samuel joseph lion eater with your equipment now in tip-top condition you request to join the guild samuel issues you a test of skill what will you do eagerly accept the entry exam ask the guildmaster for details state that you were overqualified for the test this could be one of those points in the game where it's like I don't need to do any more tutorials because I've played it before. And I haven't played it before, so I am going to ask for details. Your test is to help a warrior named Roland. Samuel says that you can find him in the ancient temple ruins. Mm-hmm. Town map is available. You can now go to the gate. To prove your mettle for the Guildmaster, you head to the ancient temple ruins to assist the warrior, Roland. Yes, the town map allows you to allows you to select a town facility and quickly move about. Okay. Ah, yes, I get it. Okay. Well, we're at the gate anyway, so. <laughs> No need to quick travel. A magic gate was recently found in the ruins on the outskirts of town. Use that to reach your destination. Okay. Is 
having a wander. Not bad, not bad. Taking in the sights. Very good. Hide land. Whoa. Boss question mark level one ancient temple ruins. Guessing that's where we're going then. Many things lie within the ruins of the old Elysian temple. Some quiescent, some far less so. An ancient dragon spoken of in myths is said to have destroyed the Elysian civilization in one night. Defeating enemies and picking up score items will earn points. These points will become experience at the end of the adventure. Ah, right, okay, so the score in the middle becomes experience. Cool. So we want to be picking them up then. Uh, and I've just remembered that we've only got a limited amount of those arrows, so we shouldn't be just using them willy-nilly. Can we break these? Yes, we can. Ha <laughs> ha. Who are you? you what are you doing the in there? That was trapped in a cage. Okay. Aha! Something yes, for you, Ronnie. Whoa, that was the wrong button. Outstanding. Yep. Get over there and unlock Let's it. See. Voila. Treasure ID. When you open a treasure chest, you will obtain ranked equipment. Once you return from the dungeon, you'll be given a chance to appraise, keep, or sell the equipment that you gained. Fair enough. Let's uh, do some moves. Got them combos on the go, man. It's awesome. Imagine it'll uh, cease to be quite so easy once we um oh we're back up to ten arrows. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll be this easy for very long. You have made your way to Rome. At the guild's behest, he is looking for adventurers who went missing in the ruins. For you to pass your guild exam, you must help him. Roland tells you to search in the ruins that are submerged in water. Much time has passed since the missing were last seen. He tells you to bring back their bones if they are found dead. That dude was huge. Whoa, it's a snake. <laughs> Environmental kill. Whoa, what? What it is? Do your thing, Runny the, the rogue. It's my turn. Simple. Oh ah, rank E, but we did get crossbow. Is there anything down here? No. No. Ah, Who's this though? We open this. Whoa! Knock that down, sorry. Lizard on the floor there, is that an enemy? <laughs> ah, more treasure. Oh my god, it's a spider. I don't really like spiders too much. They're not the best. Whoa, it's another one. Let's see. Damn you, spider! Should have known from all of the oh, webs yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Only just noticed. Ah, some ham. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yeah, those grooves on the floor. <laughs> I knew it. Ranny the rogue. What are you doing? You can't die. You're the lock. Open error. Saw these on a video. I oh, didn't know about that though. Mm -hmm. Whoa, bats. Get killed, bat. The combat on this is very, very nice. It feels really fluid. 
press that. Nope. You don't have the ability to use them yet. We're going pretty well through here at the moment. Ah, you can pick up bones that you find in the stage with Triangle. You have found the bones of a missing adventurer. Sometimes, the dead have been known to leave behind a message right before they perish. Requiescat in pace. That's the old there. What do you want? Ah, oh, what's that? Gonna be on the lookout for shinies, eh? I like shiny things. Ooh, water. Oh, lizard man! I thought you were supposed to still be in Soul Calibur. Whoa. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Charge a shot up. Oh. Very good, very good. Any oh shinies? My. Any shinies? No, no shinies. There's a chest though. Can we do anything when we click on it? No. We have to use brute force. What is this? Get out of there, Rani. <laughs> Whoa! I'm down. Whoa! Nice dodges. Nope, that wasn't. Thankfully, we've got three. Whoa! 359 of 300 health. <laughs> Have some arrows in your life. Whoa! Not good. Ooh. It's hard. Oh, I jumped right into that. That was stupid. Let's pick up these arrows. Oh. Oh, you can use the bow and arrow in the air. Did not know about that. Now you run the floor, Harpy. Suffer the pain. Did you see he's just run into that like a chump? Don't want to die. Need to play better. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're doing okay though. We've still got the advantage. Uh, maybe it's not so much now. Oh my god, that was stupid! Get up and fire an arrow. Yes! Die, Harpy Scum. There seem to be more nests similar to this one spread throughout the area. You exit the area, taking care to avoid drawing the attention of any other harpies. Mm hmm. I don't think we did too badly for a first time through. Level up! Very good, very good. Defeat the boss without dying. Beat the round unbored. Let's play bonus. We're doing a let's play. <laughs> Didn't pick up any items. Wow. You can appraise unknown items that you claim from treasure chests. You can also sell your unwanted spoils. So, we have to appraise these items before we know what they are. And some of them can be used by everybody and some of them can't. Aha. Uh -huh. Makes sense. So, if we appraise this bow and arrow, it's a B rank weapon. We need to be level two, which we are. And we've got one and a half 
thousand gold, so it seems worth it. Crushing self bore. Um, well, seeing as that was our first adventure, uh, adventure, let's check it out. Uh, check out all of them, or at least all of them that we can. Bear boots. Yes, just what I wanted. Mighty light glove. Knockback resistance plus 20%. That sounds pretty legit. You need to be a higher level to use them, though. But we can use this crushing self. Oh. Is there a way to... Ah, yes, we can. We can sell things. Um, I'm going to sell this. So that I can use... see what this is. A royal belt! Can't even use that on the character that I've got. Sell it! <laughs> Right, cool. Um, take all spoils and quit. Yes, that is what we wanted. Now saving. You obtained equipment. Open the start menu and equip from equipment. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the Guildmaster. Let's uh, check out the equipment. So, we can now use this, which is more powerful. Is there a way to actually compare it? I guess not, but it is better. We did pick up some other stuff, but... Ah, armory. There we go. Bear boots. The level three. That's right, we can't use them just yet. Okay, fair enough. Yes. And this bow looks different. Where are we going? The adventure. Yes. Fair enough. You return to the guild to report your quest. However, Samuel gives you an additional task. Typical. It is possible to resurrect the dead with their bones. He tells you to go to the temple to attempt the resurrection ritual. This doesn't sound shady at all. Canaan Temple is a temple dedicated to the worship of the goddess Althena. Proceed there immediately. Althena sounds like the valid an L to Athena. <laughs> You can now go to Canaan Temple. I would have said Canaan Temple, but you were ordered Kanan. to attempt to resurrect guild members at Canaan Temple. Yes, uh, here we go. As you enter, a kindly voice echoes from the back. You seem to be in need of help, a monk says, and approaches you. The prayer of the monks sometimes restores the dead to life. The goddess bestows mercy to those whose time has not yet come. What troubles you, my child? Resurrect. Gary? Bloody Gary. He had an auspicious sage scepter. Wow! An unbroken lord glove, always better than a broken one. Rivet glasses. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, <laughs> let's resurrect Gary. Allow this heart to beat again. Quench their thirst. Lead the wandering soul back. Reverse death. And awaken them. The prayer reaches the goddess, and the pile of bones is made new. The adventurer pledges their allegiance to you as thanks. Any adventurers you resurrect will wait for you at the inn. I want that dog. You can now fill out your party with those who are waiting at the inn. And the Philip Schofield looking dude behind the bar. Please be aware that if you leave an area and one of your party has fallen, they will become lost. 
Mm, we'll have to bear that in mind. If you encounter any bones during your questing, be sure to bring them back and resurrect them so that they can assist you. Very well. Follow your party, you can also set where the allies can join you in mid adventure. Gary, make the smart choice. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, Gary. Looking like a beast in that cloak. You look like. What's he called? Vincent. Valentine? From Final Fantasy? <laughs> that was a rather loud bike that just went past. I don't know if the microphone picked that up or not, but. It was very loud. You have fulfilled the request. Report your work to the Guildmaster. Okay, so we're going to go to the Guildmaster. We're going to let him know that uh, Vincent Valentine is alive once again. Um, and that will be the end of this video. Let's go, Vincent. Find guild members. You completed a quest and received a reward. 1,000 gold. After delivering your report, you think you see part of a smile cross Samuel's face. You are now registered with the guild. You may now get cooperation from guild members. They may participate in your party and help you in completing quests. The Adventurer's Guild has a backlog of quests because many adventurers are occupied with the Dragon's Crown rumors. The King and his retinue left to find the Dragon's Crown and are missing. Many guild members are now searching for them. The existence of this crown that supposedly controls dragons is disputed. But the king was obsessed with finding it. Samuel hurriedly assigns you a new task. You get the feeling that he deems you reliable and trustworthy. It's a request from this country's prime minister. The quest's details will be provided at the castle. You wonder about the lives of the powerful people in that grand castle. You happily accept the job. You can now select learn skill. You can now select quests. Hmm, you're back. Learn a skill. When you learn a skill, the player's skills will be strengthened. You can earn skill points by leveling up or through completing quests. So, something specific to the elf or something specific to everybody. Let's have a look what elf skills we can have. Power shot. Um, rapid fire. Spacious quiver. That's pretty cool. Carrying more. Yeah, we can't. I don't know if we can do any of these. Hmm, possibly that. Level 13, what? <laughs> salamander oil. Use the salamander oil to grant arrow and dagger attacks fire properties. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's have a look at the common. Ones. Slide attack. Increased chance of taking enemy down while sliding. Wealth to health. Picking up coins recovers HP. That's pretty cool. Money is power. These sound like... The tarot cards of the Binding of Isaac. Picking up coins adds to your score. That's cool. Vitality boost. Would always be handy. Grants a chance that using a temporary weapon won't decrease the number of uses. Oh, that's pretty cool. Increases the number of times you can evade in a row. I didn't realize there was a limit. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with Vitality Boost. Yes, because it's always good to have more health. <clears throat> and picking up coins adds to your score. Uh, yes. I think they both sound pretty good. And we're going to be leveling up a lot anyway, so we'll be able to take all this stuff. I didn't realize you could press triangle and see more information. See what quest you've got. You can have six 
quest from the guild here. Complete them all. Blah, 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 blah. Valuable rewards. A new quest has been added. We've seen a dramatic increase in the wasp population in recent days. The wasp explosion. Okay. At ancient temple ruins, destroy the orcs cargo found at the harbour. And you can open the door to the harbour. Okay, we'll accept it. And this is where we're going to end the episode, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the Dragon's Crown series, then please do leave a like on this one. Leave a comment letting us know that you want to see more. And I will turn this into a full series if that's how you would like it to be. If not, then I hope you enjoyed this quick look at it. I say it's quick, it's 35 minutes. <laughs> and if you want to see more videos by me, then please do consider subscribing. And until next time, stay awesome.